absolutely fantastic this morning. I am having a fantastic start to the day and a little bit excited because I love the square that we are doing today. We're going to be doing the popcorn stitch flower. I love popcorn stitch generally, but this one is super cute. I've started off with a magic ring and we're going to single crochet eight stitches. That is not a single crochet. We just want singles. Single crochet eight into the center. Um, I like the magic ring. I like being able to tighten that center hole all the way up so that it completely disappears. If you are not comfortable doing the magic ring, like any magic ring pattern, you can just do a short chain. I would say four stitches for this one. Um, if you want a smaller hole, obviously less chains. Slip stitch together and crochet uh, around that chain with your eight single crochet. I always like to check my stitch count before I go on to the next round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gonna slip stitch first to join it up over the top of that magic ring tail is fine. Just starts that weaving in process that we're gonna have to do later. Now I've only got a tiny hole there anyway, but I'm gonna pull it nice and tight, and we are straight into our popcorns. A tiny little circle. Um so popcorn stitch we have done in the past works up beautifully very striking uh, it's five double crochet so we're going to go into that same first single crochet place space <laughs> do five double crochet all into the same stitch from the previous round one three dropped a loop three and five so five double crochet into the top of the stitch from the previous round we're going to pull that loop up remove our hook we're going to go into the top of the first Grab that loop, so we go in front to back, grab the loop and pull it through. And that is how we get the pop. We're going to do a chain of one and then we're going to do the same in the next stitch. So they do get a little tight on top of each other. Just got to make sure you find them because we want eight petals in the center of our popcorn flower so we need to make sure we go into the top of every single crochet from the previous round so again going in five popcorns one two three four and five is our final Complete the double crochet stitch, pull up our loop. Now we don't want to get the single crochet, so we want to make sure that we're going into the top of the first. One, two, three, four, five. In we go, front to back, grab that loop and pull it on through. There's the pop. Single crochet. And we're on to our next stitch. We're going to continue all the way around all of the single crochets from the previous round. So at the end of the second round, we will have eight popcorn stitches. I will see you back here in a moment. 
Okay, I am back. We've got eight super cute little popcorn stitches separating each one <clears throat> with a single chain space. Just tightening up that center hole. I love how they pop. They are really cute. We're going to do a second round of popcorn stitch. And it's going to be two popcorn stitches into each ch single chain space. So I'm going to be working into this one of the previous round. Going to start off the row with a chain of two and then be begin working our first popcorn stitch. Because we're kind of working a little bit backwards on this one, I'm just going to put one in and then I'll do the second one when we're completing this round. So chain space for the first two What did I do there? Chain space and two is three. That's what I did. Four. And five. Pulling up the loop. Tempting to go through the hole when you've got a starting chain. But really, make sure you go into the second chain space. It will make your popcorn pop properly and sit a whole lot nicer. I'm going through both spaces there. Ooh, nearly lost it. Don't want, don't want to start again. Grab that loop, pull it through. And again, we're separating with a single chain. So it's two in every chain space, but we're gonna come back sorry come back and do the second one in that chain space uh, at the end of the round so I've done my chain of one going into the second chain space between those petals and we're going to work two popcorn stitch into the same chain space they are going to be separated by a single crochet three and five pull up a loop through the top of our first stitch in that cluster of five grab the loop pull it through single crochet and we're going to do a second popcorn stitch into that same chain space from the previous round <clears throat> five double crochet pull up the loop through the first double crochet of the set. One, two, three, four, five. Oop. Pull it tight. Pull it through. And done. So for the remainder of this round, we're going to be working two popcorn stitches into each chain space, which is easy to find between the petals. At the end of the round, we're going to have 16 popcorn stitches 16 single chains. I will see you back here at the end of the round. Okay, we're back. How cute is that little popcorn flower? Really, it's just adorable. We're going to uh, start working the remainder of our granny square now. If it's easier, you can flip it to do the first round. Um, but I find the chain spaces uh, which we're going to be working with are really pretty easy to find. So at the end of that round, round three, um, we should have 16 popcorn stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're going to start working into the chain spaces of the previous round. So I'm going to join on a second colour. You can see the chain spaces are pretty easy to find. Sorry. Pretty easy to find between the popcorn stitches. I've just got to adjust my yarn. Uh, granny square working double crochets. So we we're going to slip stitch through that chain space, double crochet to start. Uh, two chains as our first double crochet to start. My apologies. Double crochet into the same chain space. So we've got in essence two double crochets. Going to do a chain stitch into the next chain space with two double crochets. You can see how what is a gorgeous, really striking square is actually quite easy to work up. Single chain. Now, so we've done two. This third chain space is going to serve as a corner. So nothing, oh, I can get into the hole. It is a little bit tight there. Um, nothing too complicated. We're going to be doing two double crochet as we have in the previous chain spaces. Difference, we're going to chain two instead of one and we're going to work another two double crochet into the same chain space. Because that's how we turn our circle into a square. So once we've finished, chain of one, two double crochet into the next stitch, it's actually the next three stitches. So that's one, double crochet into the second, times two, chain of one. This is our third chain that we're working two double crochet into. Get out of there. One and two. I'm having some trouble with camera angle tonight. Today, rather. Chain of one, and we're at another corner space. So double crochet times two chain of two another two double crochet into the same chain space. What happened there? Try again. Two double crochet into the same chain space. One and two. And then we're back to a single chain and our double crochets. So corners, you can see it's starting to square up. Still a little bit bulgy. Um, corners have two sets of double crochet separated by two chain spaces. The sides at this point uh, have three sets, so working three chain spaces, two double crochet in each, separate each two with a single chain. So if you guys can continue around um, back to join up at the beginning, I will see you at the beginning. There we go. I'll see you shortly. I'm going to try and fix my camera angle. Okay, another round completed. As you can see, just joined into the starting chain with a slip stitch to finish out the round. We're going to do the exact same thing again. You can see how, hopefully, I really see how it's popping. It really is just gorgeous. 
and I do love nice tight stitches and popcorn stitch always delivers in that area as well um, so we're going to do the exact same thing for the following rounds as many or as few as we need to hit our desired size so I'm just going to slip stitch to the chain space. I don't really want to flip this. So I'm just going to slip stitch over to the chain space. Do a chain of two, three. Three, three, my apologies. Um, and a double crochet into the chain space. Chain of one, two double crochets into the next chain space. Corner, obviously we've got our um, chain two space. So we're going to be working into that with two double crochet. One. Two. Chain of two and another two double crochet, and that's the remainder of our pattern. Two double crochet in each chain space, except the corners where we'll have two sets of two double crochet with a chain of two. A really beautiful square. I hope that you have found this video helpful. And I hope you have a lot of fun creating this beauty. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a fabulous day. See you next time.